another episode of Last Minute Laura. I'm Laura and today I am going to show you how to make this adorable pot cozy. So the winter months are coming, you like to wear a sweater, so I've made this little pattern so that you can make a little sweater for your plant pots. I don't know that it'll actually keep your plant warmer, but that's kind of my hope. It's wool. It could keep in some insulation, right? We get such cold winters here in Ontario. I'm hoping that this can do something to help my plants out. I guess we'll see. But if you're interested in learning how to make this really cute basket weave winter plant cozy, keep watching. For this project, I am using Briggs & Little Wool. This is my custom dyed wool. I will link the video where I actually made this color green from some of my local invasive grass species, but you're gonna need some yarn. You're also going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter aluminum one today. You can use five millimeters, you could do 5.5 or 4.5 and you should still be okay for a six inch pot. You're also going to need a yarn needle to weave in your ends at the end. You're not really gonna need a measuring tape, but you can measure if that's your thing. And you're also gonna need scissors just to cut stuff. So, let's get started. First, we're going to need a slip stitch. Then, chain 48. Slip stitch together at the first chain. One, two, Slip stitch together at that first chain. Okay, so now we are on round one. We're gonna start with a chain three, one, two, and three, and then we're gonna double crochet in every single stitch around. At the end of the row, just slip stitch to that first stitch. Okay, so now is the time to check. Go back and make sure you've got 48 of these double crochets and you count that first chain as one of them. One, two, three, Five, 46, four. 47, and 48. So now, once you hit 48, that's the first stitch. Now I'm gonna slip stitch to that first stitch and then I'm going to chain two, chain three. Okay, so now we are on to round two. We're going to front post double crochet into the first four stitches, and then we're going to back post double crochet into the next four stitches. After that, we're going to front post double crochet into the next four stitches, followed by back post double crochet in the next four stitches. We're gonna do that all the way around the round. Front post double crochet for four, back post double crochet for four. And if you forget how to do a back post double crochet or a front post double crochet, let me just show you. So you're always starting with double a row of double crochet if you're doing a row or a round. Doesn't matter, you're starting with a row of double crochet. Then, you'll wrap your yarn around your hook, and instead of inserting the hook into the top of the stitch like this, or inserting it into the underside of the entire stitch like that, instead you're going to put your hook behind that post in order to pull it forward, and then you complete a double crochet as normal. So yarn over, insert the hook behind the whole double crochet stitch, and then complete a double crochet. And that is a front post double crochet. The back post double crochet is just exactly the reverse. So let me slow that one down too. We're gonna yarn over, and then instead of putting the hook behind the post, we're gonna stick the hook all the way behind your work, 
and then put it in front of the post. So the exact opposite. And then complete a double crochet as normal. So again, we're going to insert it. We're going to go behind the work with the hook. Insert up through one hole, down through the other, so that your post is behind your hook. And then you complete a double crochet. So we're just going to do that repetition all the way around. And at the end of the round, we're going to secure the round with a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're on round number three. For round number three, four, and five, we're going to just repeat what we did for that first one. We're going to front post double crochet into the first four stitches, followed by four back post double crochet in the next four stitches, and all the way around front post, back post, double crochets. I'm telling you, this is a really easy pattern. So first, do these first four rows. So row number three, four, and five are gonna be the same as row number two, which is four front post followed by four back post. So I will see you back here once you've got that one done. Okay, so I finished my first four rows. Now we're moving on to the next four rows. This pattern is worked in chunks of four rows. So for our first stitch, instead of doing a front post double crochet, we're going to start this time with, oops, a back post double crochet. And we're gonna do four back post double crochets followed by you guessed it, four front post double crochets. And we're gonna go around and do the entire round reversing which post <laughs> we're taking from. Um, so now I'm doing my front post double crochets. And that is going to change the direction of these sort of basket weave stitches. You'll see even just after this one row that it starts to look sort of like a basket weave. So. For the next four rows, row number six, seven, eight, and nine, you're going to do this reversed post double crochet. So whatever the stitch is, you're just gonna do the reverse one for this. And when you get to the end of this round, secure with a slip stitch and chain three. Okay, so now we are on row number 10. So I've done those first four, the one direction, and then the second four in a second direction. And you can see now it's got like that basket weave sort of look. It looks like we've got these guys all going this way. See, super cute. So for row number four, oh, for row number four, for row number 10, we are going to reverse it all over again. So for 10, 11, 12, and 13, we're going to just repeat the old way, the first way that we did. So front post double crochet for the first four, back post double crochet for the next four. And we're just gonna go all the way around back with that original pattern. And you guessed it, for row 14, 15, 16, and 17, we're just gonna do the reverse again. So for that row, start with a back post double crochet, and then you'll finish off with a front post double crochet on that same row round, excuse me. And then I will come back to show you how we are going to finish off this super easy basket weave plant cozy. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of row 17. And that is our second last row. The last row, row number 18, we're going to single crochet all the way around. So I'm just gonna secure that with a slip stitch, chain one, and then single crochet all the way around. And when you get back to the beginning, secure it off with a slip stitch and then weave in your ends. The 
cozy. I love it. I really hope that you guys love it too. It fits a six inch pot. I'm using terracotta pots to keep warm with this little wool basket weave cowl for my pot. Um, I don't know if it'll actually keep my plant pot warm, but I mean, I'm hopeful. Plus it's super cute. I'm thinking I'm going to do some in holiday colors because I love the holidays. So I think I might get some red yarn next and do a little bit of red and green for around the house during the Christmas season. So that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. But hey, before you go, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a free way to show your support for the channel and it's really helpful to the channel's growth. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I put out new videos every single day. Monday to Friday, I put out live streams 7 a.m. until about 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and then Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I put out edited videos like this. So if this is up your alley, definitely hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow. Anywho, friends, now I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!